we're live hey it actually worked once again I have switched things up a little bit I'm trying to work on my live streaming skills because I don't often do it on my own usually it's with other people and usually it's not with recording software so with that I am working on it but um, I think we're in good shape here guys welcome everyone welcome one and all hope you're having a fantastic Friday Wow chat is popping off already so um, let's just go ahead and go through some shout outs really quick already uh, Nightbot is on so don't spam caps emojis that kind of thing you know the deal everyone knows the deal first of all big shout out to Kimmy vapes she was the first one in the room so shout out to you Kimmy full savage we've got Roy French we've got vapor swaggins of course Jared the vaping goat welcome welcome clown vapes Mike's Max Reviews, what's going on? Dave Satak, Kevin K, uh, let's see, Soundman Army from Denmark, welcome, dude, what's up? Uh, Chris Lopez, Big Boy Coils, that's Shane Wiseman for those of you that don't know. Vance G, let's see, Brian Enoch, uh, Christopher, there we go. Chat is going pretty quick, so if I miss your name, I do apologize, Miguel Rice. Uh, Michelle Lynn, Dull Dime Mods, welcome. We have Colin Graham, Ranger J, Tony Martin, Claire Truella. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I murder your last names. I'm really bad at that. But we've got, uh, uh, let's see, Tony Martin, Chris Fink, Clownette is in the, the room as well. Welcome, Mrs. Clown. <laughs> she always hates me when I forget her. Her name to mention her uh westover vicious gsp D, gspd 550 uh blaine thompson dj lsp what's up my man what's up daniel uh mr panda i'm gonna miss a couple of these guys i'm sorry <laughs> um let's see oh uh, did i already say chris jordan i'm not sure aziz is here victor rivera cloud ripper reviews welcome uh james yarrington james franklin my man james franklin all right all right we got sam dawson james yarrington again yep okay gary lebon heartland bhb menacing what <laughs> menacing flopping on the table what <laughs> what's going on everybody welcome to the show we're gonna be um trying something out today i know a lot of you guys have been seeing Tons of stuff about the Niord RDA, so I figured why not do it in the exact same style as Mr. Morton Owen himself. I've been watching a lot of his videos recently, and I've been kind of getting to know his style and what he wants out of his vape. And um, so we're going to just try it out. You know, I figured best case scenario is, you know, we get his same experience. Worst case scenario, I rip it out and try another kind of coil build that I'm more used to. So... Um, yeah, basically his style is using flat ribbon wire, but not quite ribbon. He actually hammers it out himself. So what I'm planning on doing today is using some flat wire and hammering it more, if that makes any sense. And then we're just going to twist it up like he does, and hopefully it comes out about the same. He also says build it no bigger than two and a half millimeter, which I'm not a huge fan of two and a half millimeter coils personally. So, I don't know. I also don't have the 22 gauge Canthal like he specifies in his videos. I have flat 21 gauge, but I think it ought to be about the same. I might have to just throw an extra wrap on there for good measure, just because it's not Canthal. It's uh, this flat wire flat 60 uh, from the UK. So, we're going to try this out. I, I'm, I'm trying my best to replicate his build here, but... I don't know. I have no idea how it's going to come out. It could be a fail. I don't know. You know what? At the end of the day, it'll be an adventure for all of us here. So here's to that. And man, streaming makes your throat dry. So I'm glad I have my water. While we get some more people in here, well, we already got 80 watching already. So shout out to those guys that were in early. Th thank you guys so much for just being there and being awesome. <laughs> I got a new toy uh, this week. This is the Drip, Drip Tech TS. A few of you had mentioned after the last stream, vaping at 300 watts, that uh, I should get one of these things to build a 300 watt coil, which I do still plan on doing at some point in time. Um, however, for the time being, I'm just enjoying it how it is right now. 
this is the DripTech TS from Defiant Designs, Mr. Greg Stevens. We have the Bonza RDA on top and the DHD color changing nub tip. This is the uh, purple to blue, which I absolutely love. Um, and I also got some extra bottles as well. We've got my own liquid in here, Blaz Peach, because I cannot stop vaping this stuff. It is insane. Uh, wow, I just pressed the squonk bottle to vape it. Damn, that's good. Very, very good stuff. Um, ooh, let's see, we got Vaping with Ken, Ashtrays Remembered. I'm gonna give a couple more shout outs here. What is up everybody, Enrique Chavez, James Yarrington, we've said him. Yeah, be careful, Nightbot, Nightbot will get you. And I do apologize if you guys get banned. Hey, we got Mike Vapes in here too. What's up Mike Vapes? Uh, let's see. Here, wait, just for Mike Vapes. Uh, where is it? I just had it out. Um, oh, right here. Here we go. Just for Mike Vapes. We got the, uh, the old recurve RDA on there. Man, flavor. Flavor for days. Really good. That will live right there for now. Right. So, um, yeah, I guess we could get right into this. It's already cloudy in here. <laughs> um, what's up, uh, everybody? Rigor Mortis is in the house. Cloud Ripper reviews. We have already shouted you out. Jay Shima. Hey, she's one of my Patreons. Patrons, thank you for being here. And uh, I, I, I really like doing this. I really like Fresh Build Friday Live, and I think I'm going to continue it for the foreseeable future. I don't, I don't know. If it's something that really needs my attention, my full attention, I'll definitely be doing uh, a standalone video on that. But otherwise, I just love the interaction, and uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up. Let's just get building here. Um, so, first things first, go back down to the top-down view. Welcome, everyone, to the top-down view. Um, actually, I'm going to... Just adjust it a little bit. I didn't really have time to adjust it. Oh, oh no, that's the Brio. Hold on. Do, do. Uh, there we go. Um, okay, so we're going to turn down the gain a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit less bright because, you know, you need these uh, looking good here. So there we go. That's a little bit better. All right, so we have some flat wire 60, flat 60 stuff here. There we go. Center frame. <laughs> Got to remember where my center frame is. It's right about here. And, you know, I always struggle opening up these damn packages. Yeah, I need, I need a bigger hammer. This is the hammer that I'm using today. It's a little bit much. It's a little bit much. I could build a house with it if I wanted to, but... Uh, yeah, it's the only thing I have available to me currently, so we're just going to rock it out today. Um, let's get some tools out. Actually, I'm going to use my own snips because the ones that come in the Coilmaster DIY Mini V2 kit are already dull. So, eh. I mean, you can't really expect too much from the, uh, the old Coilmaster snips. Oh, geez. Uh, oh, okay. Flat wire. You really got to get your spools a little bit nicer than this, man. I cannot stand this stuff. Ah, I usually just keep it in the bag and just kind of grab a piece, like, screw it. There we go. Grab a piece. Snip it off. See, this is the stuff you don't get to see uh, in the Fresh Build Friday videos. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, geez. Oh, I, for I totally forgot. <laughs> I now I know why Daniel tuned in. <sighs> Drama. All right, where is this thing? Oh, it's all right. It's on here. So I've got it sitting on here right now. And I actually tried. I I already tried to replicate one of his builds, uh, but I used the stainless flat wire, and it just no. It was way too low, and I had too many wraps on it. 
and I just did not like it. So I wasn't too happy with that. I, and I'm gonna take it out. Um, yeah. So the other thing about this is the coil master screwdriver doesn't work for the lower screw here. I need an anvil. Yeah, I need a lot of things, you know? I might actually go out and go to the um, hardware store at some point in time and get a new um, an anvil and a little little jeweler's hammer or a pounding block or something. Yeah, see? Just doesn't doesn't fit. <laughs> so, boo. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I know it's a little bit difficult for you guys to see. Uh, zoom. Eh, that's pretty good. All right. So, I need a screwdriver. Where am I going to find a screwdriver around here? I can probably find one in any little box. Let's see. I've got the nudge box. Does the nudge have... I don't think the nudge has a flat screwdriver. No, nope, it's a Phillips head. I need a freaking flat screwdriver. Flat head screwdriver. Um, what has a flat head screwdriver? No, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, okay, let's see. What did I use last time? I used something last time. I can't remember. Um, definitely was not the Geek Vape one. All these tools, and I don't have a little micro flathead. Jeez. Hold on, let me find a flathead around here somewhere. I used the one from the Hastur, I believe. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. There we go. There we go. We got, got a different kind of micro. What? Michelle. You know, she's like super critic. <laughs> Michelle Lynn. All right, rip that coil out. So here's what I had in there. It was just a little, oh, you can't see that. Autofocus is not on. All right, here's what I had in there. You guys won't be able to see that either. Hopefully you can see that a little bit there. So it's really nothing special, but it still just did not want to work. It was too, too hot in the middle of the coil and it just wasn't working for me. And my the build deck is just covered in juice. Let's try to dry it off as best as we can here. Probably should have done this before the stream, huh? There we go. Oh, we got uh, Tenacious Texas Vapes checking in for a little pre-stew fun. Uh, yeah, we didn't get much out of it. Oh well. Oh well. We shall carry on. Ugh, now my hands are covered in juice. All right, so I have this little, I mean, it's not quite a pounding block, but it'll do for now, for my purposes. I have this little block that we're gonna hammer this thing on. Uh, for this, I'm gonna turn down the audio. So if you don't hear me for a few, it's because I'm smashing on this wire. So bear with me, guys. I'm gonna turn the audio way down.
All right, guys. So, let's go back up top real quick. All right. So I successfully hammered it flat on my ghetto rig. I know a lot of you are commenting about the paint and all that. I just washed it off, actually. I washed off the piece of wire with some water and some soap. And it's looking all right. It's such a pain in the ass. I, I don't understand why anyone would go through that much trouble. I mean, it's as flat as I could really get it with the tools that I have. So I think, uh, I think we'll just have to make it work. Um, am I muted still? Hold on. Am I muted still? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Can you not hear me? Can you hear me? Check, check. One, one. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I know I, I muted myself. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> I muted myself so I didn't have, you guys didn't have to, uh, Hear the hammer, man. That's that's annoying. No, I'm getting conflicting stories here. I'm so confused. I am really lost now. You guys are totally messing with me. Yes, I had to flatten flat wire because that's how Morton Owen does it. Like he actually flattens the stuff out like a pancake. It's really really thin. Um. So yeah, I, I flattened flat wire to kind of mimic his, his style. And it's not quite as flat as his, according, like, just by watching his videos. But I think it's gonna have to do. I really do think that's gonna have to do, because that's as flat as I can get it with my, like, ghetto rig. No, Nick, you're still muted right now. I, do, I doesn't, my mixer says I'm not. My mixer says I'm in the yellow. Check one, two. Hello, hello. Oh, I can, I li I'm listening to the stream. I sound fine. I sound great. You guys are all crazy that say I'm muted. And now I just turn myself up so I'm really loud. All right. God, come on, guys. Come on. Um, do, 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 do. So I've got about enough for one coil. So this better work. All right, let's get rid of some of these paint flakes. Oh my God, I, I need a proper pounding block or something. Uh, I really need to get more tools because just relying what's hanging around at the vape shop does not work out in my favor. Literally, it's just random stuff I find around at the shop. That's what I use for my tools and the stuff that I get in from Coilmaster. And there's literally paint everywhere. There's paint on my laptop. There's paint on the floor now. <sighs> Marble slab? I don't think that would work. I think you would probably ruin that pretty quickly. I could be wrong. If you're doing it delicately with like a jeweler's hammer, maybe that would work out, but I don't know. Nick wants to pound. Hey, that's, that's something for the after show, all right? Is definitely an after show conversation there. All right, guys, so two and a half millimeter diameter. Just so I can get some really good leverage on this thing, I'm gonna do the coil master jig. There we go. Swap out the bits real quick. Posture roller, that might work, yeah. I've heard a lot of things, you know, everyone, everyone does something different. Uh, <laughs> I've actually heard that people use like Lego and stuff for um, making those little waves, corrugations. All right, so he does a three wrap. I think I'm going to do a four wrap just because this is not Canthal. No, it just doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Um, let's test the resistance of this first, and then we'll go from there. If this is a right around the 0 0.2, 0 0.22-ish mark, we're going to leave it. If not, 
then we're going to add an extra wrap. So he also does little 90 degree bends on his wire as well. So just do that. Oh, you know what? He wraps backwards though. Oh, the post setup on this thing is backwards the way I, I usually wrap my coils. Oh no, I'm good. Okay. Whew. Last time I ran into that problem. Alright, so let's do that. I mean it is a pretty easy install, not gonna lie. It's a pretty darn easy install on this one. I want to set it up. Kind of position it where you want it. Out there. Oh, jeez. I'm like using the jig at the bottom as like a guide. As to where to put my coil here. Put there. Day. Okay. <laughs> I do know a jeweler that can get me jewelry tools. I'm going to have to hit Mike up. Let's see. Let's see, it goes all wonky though. So you kind of have to finagle it around here. A little bit tighter on this side, I think. That ought to do it. Alright, real quick, I'm just going to check the resistance. Nope, not like that. 0.15, yeah, I figured that was going to be too low. So if we got 0.15, I think... Maybe even two more wraps, to be honest. I think we might have to do two more wraps. So, let's go ahead and get this thing moving. You guys want to see me fire this thing? Alright. I have to undo this 90 degree bend. Pain in the ass. I'm going to do two more. I don't think it'll be too high. It's kind of the surface area that I was kind of looking for, so that's actually not a bad thing. All right. So now we're going to do a 90 degree bend. Like that. I'm not going to call this a fail quite yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to do more of a, it's, it's less of a, a, you know, set in stone kind of thing and more of a proof of concept. Like, I want this to work so bad, like, to work how he gets it to work. I mean, I've got it before, with even with the pre-installed coil. For me, it wasn't terrible. But uh, it was, it's definitely an experience. It's, dif it's really different than anything else out there right now, in my opinion. All right, let's get this thing wrangled properly. Want it to grip onto that wire like that. Come on. What's the problem with these screws though is when you start tightening it down, it wants to move. So you kind of have to finagle the coil a little bit more than usual. Right there, that's where I want it. I am reading chat. I'm trying to, but I'm kind of trying to concentrate as well. Hyperactive taste bud syndrome. <laughs> uh, it's just different, you know. I, I mean, 
my main problem with this thing right now, it's more with Atom Vapes than anything else, is that it's up on their website for sale as like a pre-order. And it's like, I don't know. The product still needs development, like further development, in my opinion. I, f I feel like this is definitely a, a big time beta. Now they, they sent me an email that says they're going to come out with something else for this thing i don't even i mean i'm not i don't know if i'm supposed to talk about it or whatever but they said it's like still in beta stages and that you know all the reviews and stuff that are coming out are just first impressions and the final product won't be out and blah 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 blah. and i'm just like okay what what is this 0.12 how's that even possible we added wraps on hold on how can that even be possible We added wraps on. That makes zero sense. <laughs> 0.11. It's not shorting on anything. Everything's tight. What? <laughs> it's not a short. It's not a short. There's nothing touching. There's no wire touching anything else it's not touching the bottom I mean it gives it would give you a short warning the reader would give me a short warning well kind of jumping around all over the place and uh, oh there we go there we go just needed a little tuning that's all little TLC all right so now we're at point two one and that's where I want to be <sighs> All right. You know what? It's looking good. It's actually looking good. Glowing from the inside out. No random hot spots. This is as close to a Morton build as I can possibly get with the tools available. So that's what we're going to be rocking. All right. And I know there's going to be people that have said, oh, it's not the same, it's not the same. But you know what? It's as close as I can possibly get. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to use... Uh, do I have any Japanese cotton? That's a big question. I don't think I do. You know what? I don't, I don't have any Japanese cotton. So I'm just going to use Native Wix. Because... That's all I got. That's all I got. Alright, so let's get our piece. And I've watched his wicking tutorials, and he wicks really super hard. So we're going to just rip off a big hunk here, and kind of uh, get as much cotton in the coil as we can. Just because, I mean, I've, I've, I've watched his videos. That's how he wicks. He says you need super duper tight cotton. Um, and for those of you right now in the UK, I will be seeing you next weekend, a week from today. I will be over there in the UK, so I'm looking forward to that. Wicket very hard, yes. This is the hardest part with vertical coils is wicking. It's such a pain. Grabbing it from the bottom like this trying to kind of like pull it through without ruining anything. Stan knows that struggle. Tenacious Texas Vapes. He also says don't leave a lot of cotton in the bottom of the well, which I don't quite understand because I feel like you kind of need equal amounts on the top and the bottom no matter what. 
but I feel like it'll interrupt that airflow. So I'm going to try my best here to kind of wrangle this thing around. Best way to do it, I find, is to pull it through like that and then just kind of continue to push down on the part right underneath the coil. Right. That is as tight as it's going to get. Urgh. Suckers in there. I'm just going to snip it off right at the edge of the deck because I feel like you need just a tiny bit of cotton floating around. Like just a tiny bit. Enough to touch the, the actual bottom. We still have all of this up here. He doesn't fluff it or nothing. He just crams it in. So let's just go ahead and try to get some of this junk out of the way. What's up? We got Red Fox checking in. How's it going, Red Fox? I'm going to have leave enough cotton just to touch the bottom of that little pocket, as he calls it. So right about there. And even that might be a little bit too much. Just kind of. Looks about right. I don't know. The, the whole pocket thing is very confusing to me. I don't really understand the necessity for it. I mean, I get it. You want to keep the cotton out of the way, but I just can't see that being an efficient way to wick. It has to go all the way up and over the, the bridge, let's call it here, and into the coil. So like that, he says, leave a little gap of air in the pocket area like that. Alright, so we're going to be vaping on some Lola today by Silverback Juice Company. So let's just drip this up real quick. And I'm not going to use it on a mech mod, or at least not at first. I want to test it out on a regulated first before I do anything super daring, because I want to just kind of make sure this thing actually works. And this cotton is very tight and as flat as I can possibly get it at the top because that's also something he says. He kind of flattens it out like that. I mean, personally, I feel like that's not the right way to do it. I mean, it's just my personal thought because I've always fluffed and it's worked really well for me. Um, and I feel like fibers that are being crushed just aren't going to be as efficient at uh, soaking up the, the juice. You know, but that's just maybe I was thinking about this wrong the, the whole time. All right, let's grab some batteries. Let's switch it back to the face cam. Boop. Hi. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I'm always trying to look at, like, where my, my SLR sits uh, when I'm recording. <laughs> All right. So we got, uh, we're going to slap it on the ARC 240 today just because I like the, the matte black of the, the rubberized finish with the matching matte black of the cap. However, the Sandman mech mod, the cap finish does not match the mech mod whatsoever. And it really bothers me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of that OCD guy that like really likes the matching kind of colors and textures and stuff like that. So that bothers the crap out of me. Why would you put something in a kit that doesn't match? I mean, yeah, I guess it's a prototype and all that, but just, ugh bothersome for me. Another thing I noticed is the O-rings and everything get really, really juicy. And it always comes out the bottom holes for some reason. So I'm always constantly kind of wiping this thing. Alright. Let's crank it up here. Okay. Maybe we won't be using it on this because it's not even reading the, the resistance. It's not giving me a no atomizer warning. <laughs> um, okay. More cotton equals more wicking. I suppose, oh, there we go, okay. All right, so it's, 
Well, now it's reading 0.17 ohms. That doesn't make any sense. Let's try it out on something different real quick. Let's just slap it on. What do I have batteries in? The Avenger? Sure. We'll do it on the Avenger. Just wanted to kind of like cross-reference it because I don't know. One thing I do like is he included the little uh, nub at the bottom, like the drop RDA, so it locks that cap into place, although it's a little bit too rounded, so it does kind of slip out of there sometimes. So it's, yeah, now it's reading 0 0.17, 0 0.18. Ugh, I don't know. Ugh. Let's turn it down. All right. Fill up the pocket. All right, here we go. Oh, cap isn't aligned. Duh. <laughs> See? <laughs> Didn't lock it into place. Something's not right. Oh, God. <laughs> Hotspot City. Jesus. Yeah, wicking vertical coils is a pain in the ass. Just nothing but hot spots. So I'm going to attempt to wick this again. I don't know, man. Why, why does it have to be difficult? That's what I want to know. Why do I do this to myself? That's, that's something I have no clue about either. All right. Let's just wick this up real quick. I'm going to do a little bit less cotton because that was a ton. And I feel like there's just no juice getting even into the coil. It's a two and a half millimeter, so it really doesn't need all that much. <sighs> I'm giving this the best possible chance here. Like I'm really giving it a go. All right, pull it through. Let's see. All right, I'm trying to pay attention to, to chat. You know, if I was just doing like pre made coils or something, I'd be talking with you guys the whole time. But this thing has to be difficult. Well, see, this strand is too loose now. God. Hang in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, typical Fresh Build Friday Live. That's for damn sure. Send it to Stan. Yeah, I'm sure Stan would love this thing. Stan, I'm surprised you don't have one already, man. You'd be a pro at building this thing. Okay. Got a little bit more cotton in there, but now it doesn't want to go through the coil. And yeah, Shane Smith said, Morton said he likes cold, airy vapes, which is total opposite of how most people vape. And I mean, that's cool if you want to just have a, a RDA for you, but I just can't see the marketing aspect of that, you know? You kind of have to think of these sort of things in two ways. All right. And I'm sure, you know, Joel, Mr. Just Right One, would definitely agree with me on that sentiment there. Because you have to have a marketable RDA. It can't just be for you. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to sell it. And I mean, personally, when I come out with mine, it's going to be something that I, th I think a lot of people will like. But it's going to be something that I really like, you know, because I designed a damn thing. <laughs> 
right, let's see. That's pretty darn tight. I think it can get a little bit more wick in there, though. There we go. All right, that's pretty tight. I think that'll be okay. I think it was just really just choking off the coil last time. Insert joke here. So once again, we go through the rigmarole, trimming, all that. Tuck it in the little pocket. Okay, juice. Yep, 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 yep. Dead rabbit, fuse clapping, point three, tastes great. There you go. Uh, is Owen vaping on dry ice? No, he just lives in uh, Norway. So he's used to the cold, I suppose. God, I hope this vapes. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see how wet and slick the O-rings are, but God, this thing gets completely covered in juice. I don't know why, though. I think it... it, it the cap stays on pretty tight, so I don't know. I'm, that's, I'm just so confused. All right, it's a little bit better. Still not great. Just soaking the ever-living crap out of this thing. No. I'm at 55 watts. 55 watts, 2.97 volts, and it's still burning. I'm getting... Now, it's not even hot spotting either. But I'm getting, well, let me let, let, let's let the cotton break in for a second here. I am like, yeah, I'm like dripping juice out of the cap. There's so much juice in this thing right now. It's dripping all over the place. Now, not a fan. I, I I get it. Relax your inhale, but I'm just getting dry hits, and it's not. It's the coil's wet. The, there's juice everywhere. It's not dry hitting. Or it's not uh, hot spotting. The pocket is completely dry, and the juice is still the uh, well is still full of juice, which makes no sense to me. Thought it would be the other way around. not okay that one wasn't bad but it's literally at 2.3 volts I'm at 30 watts 30 watts on a 0 0.17 0 0.18 coil it has flavor it's just not as pronounced as I you know he talks about the crispy notes and all that I just don't see it I don't see it at all I'm going to try like a long, slow hit.
I mean, yeah, there is flavor, but it's so... There's so much more vapor than flavor, if that makes any sense. And try putting this thing on a mech mod? No. No way, because that would put out 4, four volts, you know? 4.2 volts. And, I mean, according to Daniel, you're talking one of the lowest voltage drops he's seen on a mechanical mod that he's tested, and it's going to put out almost full the full 4.2 volts on a fully charged battery. This one is just so frustrating to me. Like, it tastes all right now. I'm not getting the burnt dry hits. But I'm at 30 watts, you know? And once again, the, ju the well is full of juice, but the pocket is completely dry, which is the opposite of what I thought it would be. The flavor is there, but it's so it's like there's so much more vapor production than flavor production, in my opinion. It's so airy that the air is just completely just drowning out the flavor. I, I, don't, I don't see what he sees in it, you know? And I've tried other coil builds. I've tried the included coil, which was pretty much the same as what I'm getting now. Uh, I've tried another build in it, and I've tried the build that I just took out of it. So... This is coil number four, and I still get pretty much the same experience. And I am not even going to vape this one on a mech. No freaking way am I vaping this one on a mech. The flavor's there. It does have flavor. I'm not going to say it doesn't have flavor. I'm not going to say it's flavorless. It does have flavor, but it's just so masked underneath a blanket of the vapor and it, it's it's so frustrating and hard to describe the vapor is like dense and you really like get that full lung because of how airy it is like i could really just do without a full ring of these air holes you know what that reminds me i need to find a vape band do i have a vape band i do there we go so i'm gonna try i'm gonna try something I'm going to cover up one set of the air holes with a vape band, see if that makes any difference. Okay. All right. Let's give this a shot. See, I get more flavor from that. Try it again. I get way more flavor than, for that. You still get that cold, airy vape. It's, it's less airy now, but I mean, it's still dense. Um, but I'm getting way more flavor now than I did with all three holes. Daniel says, suck from the side through one set of holes instead. I'll give it a shot for science. I feel like you're trying to prank me or something, Daniel. <coughs> That's just weird. I'm going to try plugging the drip tip and doing that. Yeah, I just got juice in my mouth. <laughs> Like, it's just pouring juice out the sides, too, because I'm way over-dripping on this thing. All right. Plug, plug the top. It's better like that. <laughs> it's way better like that. <laughs> but I feel like there's... I'm losing... I'm losing some from the drip tip. The drip tip doesn't have a good seal or something. All right, one more time. That's way better. <laughs> 
that's actually way better. And I'll, I'll try it. Daniel said lower wattage. All right. Oh, geez. This thing goes super fast. I'm going to go down to 20 watts. Still leaking juice everywhere. And I have to drip on it again. Like the pocket is like the only place that I, you actually get wicking, which really doesn't make much sense to me either. All right. One more time. That's like so much better. Why is that better? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why is that better than the drip tip? That doesn't make any sense. What? This is so strange. That is really weird. Daniel, please, please tell me that you, you've like tried this. How did you even find out about that? That's what I want to know. Seriously, that is the most random thing ever. Twenty watts, I get. Oh, I can't even get a full lung because it's so loose. I'm gonna go back up to thirty watts, and I'm gonna put the ring back on. Oh my God, this thing goes so quick. There we go. I'm gonna put the the vape band back on. That is so strange, though. That the that pulling from one of the the side sets of holes is better than pulling on it from the, the actual mouthpiece. That makes zero sense to me. No, need to drip again. But you guys probably won't be able to see this, but the juice well is still full of juice. Oh yeah, see, there you go. It just dripped over the side. Juice well is still full of juice, yet I'm getting a dry hit because the, the top pocket is dry. So that's kind of annoying. You need cotton in the base, which I mean, I have a fair amount. This makes no sense. This makes zero sense to me. All right. Am I vaping or trying to play the flute? That's a very good question. I got juice everywhere. Yeah, but even with just one set of holes closed off, it's a lot better. Um, I have juice everywhere. Juice is just coming out of every single hole on this thing. It's all over my mod. It's all over my hands. Used up an entire paper towel. Yeah. I mean, as it stands right now, it's fairly disappointing. I'm not sure what the, the worst part about it is. I mean, there's just so many things that are a pain in the ass. This is not a review by any means, but just from a builder's point of view, just trying to get it to work like he gets it to work is such a, an effort in futility here. Um, I'm just going to put it to one side for right now and just kind of forget about it for a little while. I'm going to come back to this one eventually and throw my style build in it. I want to do it with a three millimeter coil with at the very least a fuse clapped and if not something a little bit trickier. But for now, we're going to just put it to one side and we're going to build something else just to kind of end this on a high note as is kind of tradition with uh, these vape stew or vape stew with these fresh build Friday live streams here. So we're going to just do some quick little installs of the stuff that I got in today. Um, so yeah, just, uh, I actually need to go grab my bag. So give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So, vape mail in, we got the Templar RDA. There we go. So we're gonna build this thing up real quick. Let's go back down to the top down camera here. We're just gonna build this one up real quick. 
because it'll make me happy because I want to end this on a, a positive note here and not on a kind of wishy-washy downward kind of like meh. <sighs> so we're just going to throw some pre-mades in this one and I'm going to chat with you guys. So this is a funky looking build deck for those of you that haven't seen this one yet. It's like a T and it's got these two little bottom holes. It's kind of like the, what was it? There was one that with Tofo came out with, the Vaporous RDA that kind of had something similar. Top clamp with uh, little, little side holes. And I believe it all gets clamped down at one time. So let's just throw in some, some of my favorite coils. Well, I'll we'll give a quick shout out here. Coil Image Coils, Coil Image on Instagram. Um, really good friend of mine. He's an admin of my Daily Vape TV Cloud Crew page, and he's just an awesome coil builder. Make sure you go give him a follow um, because he makes some really gorgeous coils. And uh, he's so. I don't know. He's not like. He doesn't try to be vape famous or anything like that. He doesn't give a shit. He just wants to make coils and make people happy with his coils so big shout out to him my buddy Jimmy and I believe these are um, some Tricor aliens right let's see Space them out properly. Basically, just get it right where you want it and then tighten the sucker down. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going to be <laughs> reading chat the entire time because this is, you know, this is like cheating. This is like training wheels. So, if you guys have questions or anything like that, let me know. Okay. All right, pro already, kind of like a velocity, because you can trim every single lead individually. So you're not going to accidentally snip off your coil. All right. And we gotta switch back over to the three millimeter bit. My preferred, what's that purple mod? The Drip Tech TS by Defiant Designs. Very, very sexy piece of hardware right there. And uh, yeah, it's available now on defiantdesigns.com, I believe, I don't know. I bought it the other day, shipping was quick, got to me midweek, and uh, you'll be seeing it more on the stew tonight. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You really got to crank this sucker. There we go. Not too bad. A little bit of excess wire up top. Okay. So, yeah, um, hope everyone's having a great Friday. Who's looking forward to Vape Stew? Coming up at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let's see, actually, I have a message pertaining to tonight's show. All right, we might have a special guest for tonight. A very, very, very special guest. Um, I can't really say anything quite yet. I gotta, you know, talk to Stan about it real quick, but uh, we might be having someone that you all know and love on the show tonight. Other than that, uh, 
VCC Tampa just got announced today. I don't know if any of you guys are from Florida or not, but I'm definitely highly considering going to that in July. It's towards the end of the month, I believe. So that is uh, one of my favorite events of all time. Honestly, it's such a fun event. The locals are amazing. And uh, I love the vape shops out there. My favorite vape shop in uh, the Tampa Brandon kind of area is um, Moon Mountain. Moon Mountain Vapors. Good buddy of mine owns it. And uh, it's a fun place to hang out because they have beer. <laughs> All right. Hashtag Stooge Crew. What is up, Stooge Crew? I know you guys are rolling deep in this chat right now. Vape uh, Stew. Dave Satek says he'll see me there. I will see you there, buddy. Hopefully we can get uh, the same people that were there last year out there again because we had Ruby Rue. No, we didn't. Wait, was she there? I don't think she was there. No, we had uh, Grim. We had Omboy OC. We had uh, AV Andy. Um, Tony Britton. Um, Zofi Vapes was there. Uh, hashtag super friends. Oh my god. Hashtag super friends. <laughs> that was a blast, man. Just like kind of the mixing of the minds. Like we all went out to dinner on the. Oh, what was it? The last day of the show. We all went out to dinner and that was that was fun. Always double check your screws, guys. All right. My battery on my home checker here is dying. No. Uh, let's see. Bromance photo that Grim Green just posted of him and Ownboy was perfect. Oh, geez, I got to check that out. Nick, did you get the rage? Not yet. Um, I'm still holding out for the purple. Dwayne said he'd send me a purple one soon. Yeah, this thing's dead. All right, we're going to take it off this thing real quick and we're going to throw it on something else. You know what? I didn't check if there was a squonk pin in the bottom of this thing, because if there is, throw it on the old uh, drip tech for tonight. There is indeed a squonk pin. Have you seen the red one? Yeah, I have. I've been watching them forever, and I'm dying over here, because all the, the stoo stooge crew stooges, um, a lot of those guys have them. And I'm super duper jelly. All right, pop the old squonk pin in. We're gonna use this on the drip tick. Mainly because I wanna, you know, show it off. <laughs> it's a very very nice looking mod. Definitely my style. And it's purple. Let's see. And it's just raw power. That's why I like it so much. Drip tip out. Let me get my 
DHD. Oh, the DHD sits flush. Yes. That's amazing. All right. Let's pulse these suckers a little bit more. Whoa. I got one firing up real quick. This is kind of odd. One of these things is firing up real fast. The other one, almost not at all. It's kind of strange. This is supposed to be the easy build. Uh, when do I fly in for Expo? I'll be there Friday, like right when it starts. So it's going to be hell. No sleep. That first day is going to be pretty brutal. There we go. There we go. I didn't make any, uh, oh, I might have made some sound effects tonight. I just don't even notice it now that I do that. Uh, if I can make it down to Texas this year, I will absolutely be there. This screw is as tight as it can possibly get. There's no movement whatsoever in this screw. It was working a second ago. That's odd. close. This is one of those things that just, there's no explanation for it. Yes, Stan, it was who we were talking about earlier. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Come on, man. These coils are not lighting up evenly. I have no freaking clue why. Everything is how it should be. It's as tight as all hell. <laughs> man with uneven coils gets burnt wick. Well, yeah, especially if one is heating up as fast as this sucker here, man. This thing is blazing. It's getting close. This is just so strange.
All right, see you, Stan. We'll see you in a couple hours, bro. supposed to be the fun one I don't understand hot oh man those tweezers are hot um the problem is I don't know if it's the RDA I don't know if it's the coils it shouldn't be the coils because these ones are really good I might just try another set of coils. Don't know. Don't know what the problem is. Oh, top cap goes the other way. We got, uh, Promo James Franklin in the house right now. Promo Franklin. We got promo Clown. We got promo Swaggins. Love you guys. <laughs> Here. Let's change the battery out on this sucker first. Yeah, I don't know. It's still not working. I'm gonna try another set. Make sure the 510 is tight. I'll do it again. I mean, I just installed the squonk pin, so I don't know if that would make a difference. Promo clownet, my bad, my bad. My bad. All right, that sucker is tight on there. Let's try it one more time on the mod before I give up. Jeez. No, they're still not lighting up evenly. Let's try another set of coils. And just to show you how tight this screw is on the top, I mean, you try to move it and the whole RDA spins off. So I'm telling you, it's super duper tight. <clears throat> I have backups. Never hurts to have backups, guys. Well, these are quad core aliens. Holy crap. Didn't even realize that. Quad 28 with 36 all stainless. Or quad 28 nichromated with 36 stainless outers. Jesus. Beast mode coils. This is the Templar RDA. Struggling with the Templar. There we go. I'm going to put them a little bit closer to the post this time. Because they were kind of reaching towards the outside of the uh, the deck. 
So basically just touching the post and then you want to stretch it after, after you get everything tightened down. And that sucker's on there again, just like last time. Now we got Jay, Live Vape and Chill, promoting salves. Of course, don't miss salves every Sunday, except for next Sunday because we're all going to be at Expo. I don't know, we might do a little live stream on the Savs channel. You never know. So that's why you subscribe and stay tuned. See what it did there? Mm -hmm. All right. Gotta love these clippers right here. These are my preferred ones. I know Demo did his little stream the other day of showing off what tools he uses. But these are my favorites. And these are available on Amazon. What are these ones even called? Uh, CHP Quality Handmade Tools. Uh, I thought it was a different brand. I don't know. There's a million of them like that. They're all pretty much the same. Probably made in the same factory. Now I'm, now I'm concentrating again, Jesus. This is meant to be the fun one. <clears throat> All right, this is good. Everything is looking pretty good here. Just making sure I don't have any excess little pieces of wire. Woo! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there. Be careful of excess wire. All right. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the single screw uh, clamp design is not really my favorite because then if that screw gives out or if it's loose on one side or the other, then you're really just done. You, you really just have to throw it out. Um, there's no margin of error with this one. It's, it's either going to be fine or it's going to be done. It's going to be dead. I mean, currently it's doing all right. This set of coils is a little bit better. So far, knock on wood. That's what I'm talking about right there. Inside out glow. Josh Miller, you built a .02? That is absolutely insane. <laughs> Man, even I don't have the balls to do that. 
I think the lowest I've ever built was 0.04 by accident because I was using stainless and I was like, eh, how different could it possibly be? Very, very different. Quad coil six core alien. That is just absurd. Oh yeah, these beauties are good to go. See, I don't know. Maybe it was just an inconsistency. Could have been my fault. Probably my fault. I'll just go ahead and say that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we got it working. Okay, wicking. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get this done. We got better stuff to do here, I'm sure. It's Friday. You guys should all be out enjoying it. And I'm going to be doing another 300 watt video on the, on this mod for anyone interested. I'm going to vape this one at 300 watts. 300 watts on a mech. Because it's all about Ohm's Law, guys. You guys know that. <clears throat> Right. Get those wicks through. Good and tight. That one's a little bit too loose for my liking. This one should be better. I, I usually wick pretty darn hard. You know, I, I wick it to the point that I can pick up my entire setup from just the wick <laughs> so I'm pretty uh, pretty intense with the wicking but I do fluff it so I kind of do like you know my own little twist there we go that's perfect and it's so hard to teach wicking because it's impossible to tell someone how much tension to put on the, on a piece of cotton you know it's like oh it should be tight it's like yeah great but that's so subjective everyone's gonna do something a little bit different but, you know, it's just practice, you know. That's why I like kind of watching people build at the shop so I could just kind of pay attention to them. Oh, snap. We got uh, promo swaggins given to $2. I found a magical place called my Patreon. <laughs> Thank you, man. Really do appreciate it. Uh, you are already a patron. You really don't have to give more. But, you know, you got that nice light blue highlighted comment. that super chat dough see I'm a fluffer all right I said it hashtag fluffer <laughs> I guess I should call myself out on that after show I know I know <laughs> I should do a, a patron after show for fresh build Friday live like what I do in between these videos and vape stew <laughs> I don't know I got a bunch of my patrons in the in chat right now what do you guys think um i wick clapton's harder because there's more gaps for air to get into so i wick i tend to wick it a little bit harder on uh clapton's and stuff just because oh shit james franklin yo my man my man James Franklin coming through. <laughs> you guys are you guys are already patrons. You don't have to give me more money. And of course, he even promotes me in his his super chat too. Jeez. Oh, come on you guys. Stop, stop, stop. If you want to give someone money, go give it to Ken. Give your $2 to Ken. <laughs> the Ken $2 special. He'll sing a special song on the after show. <laughs> Here I am promising him things. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. <laughs> the Fweep Song Part 2. All right. <laughs> Make Vapor Swaggins a Discord mod moderator. 
Uh, that is not up to me. That's all up to Demo. Honestly, I just like, I'm along for the ride with that thing, with Discord. I'm loving it, though. If you guys aren't on the Vape Stew Discord, if, if you don't know about Vape Stew, first of all, get on that level. Second of all, uh, you should totally check out the Discord server because it's awesome. It's always popping. And everyone is super duper supportive, and I just love the, the community aspect of it. I feel like the, the Facebook just like quieted down all of a sudden because everyone's on the Discord, and you got like people in voice chat, you got people doing video calls, you got people just left and right just doing all sorts of stuff. <laughs> but it's always popping. These guys are like constantly on there, and they're always making it a good time. We're going to go back up to the little face cami section in just a second here. Right, 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 right. I can't wait to vape on this thing. I got it in yesterday. I'm like, oh man, I'm going to build this live. See, I had the plan all along. I was going to do the uh, the coil art mage 2, but uh, that's, that's, no, nah. we're done building for tonight. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go back up to the face cam. Hi. <laughs> All right, well, let's just finish her up here. Let's see. Now I, I, my hands are just covered in juice from that Nord RDA. That thing's a pain. Alrighty. <clears throat> One thing I love about triple parallel is that your batteries last so freaking long. All right. Let's give her a good squonk. Make sure it's working. <laughs> yep, it's working. It's working. Building is a real love-hate relationship. Well, you guys see it live here every freaking time. Me loving building and me hating building all at the same time. I mean, currently, me and building are okay. We're all right. But, you know, when it gets to the point that you're just angry, <laughs> like basically the first Fresh Build Friday Live that I did, yeah, that's when it does not does not become fun. It's it's more just pure rage. You just want to smash stuff. And that's not fun. You know, you don't you guys don't like that Nick. You guys like fun happy Nick. Hello Fluffy? Oh Jesus. What? What does that even mean? Oh, beard. Get it. Okay. Alright guys, let's give it a shot. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if they heard you. No, I got. Well, I'm actually at work during business hours, as you guys know, and uh, my coworker Steve just mimicked my little sound effect there. <laughs> Think vaping miner, you missed like the whole show, man. Stop blaming that poor Nord for that for my total inconsistency. Yeah, it's all my fault. I'm, I'm not done with it. It's not done yet. It's not getting off that easy. I'm going to build that. And I'm going to bring out all notes of every little crispy bits of flavor. It's going to be awesome. But I don't don't like the, uh, the Morton style build. I'm more of a fan of my own kind of coils. But you know what? It's subjective. Flavor is subjective. One person's dream flavor build is, is another person's, you know, can't stand it build. So... There we go. The cap was not all the way. Just thought it had a, a gold base. It's all good, Miner. You can catch a replay. You can watch me fail.
Damn. Wow, these coils are doing it for me, that's for sure. They're a little bit warmer than the one I had on my uh, Bonza. I had my Bonza on a uh, regulated mod. These are really good for a mech mod, though. And this little Templar, though, I'm liking it. Airflow wide open. Um, it's a kind of a shorty cap. It's not bad. That's definitely a definitely good flavor. Not getting full flavor yet, but the cotton's still kind of breaking in, so it's not the Addy's fault for sure. I don't know. That's uh, that's definitely doing a lot better for me personally. Just get a sip. Right, so, um, yeah, we'll go on for a few more minutes here. And, uh, pull it back off. Let me see those jammies. What? <laughs> I'm going to answer some questions, and we're just going to have a little chat here for you guys. That Nord is the best thing since the 502. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, flavor's getting better now. Usually it only takes about 10 to 20 puffs before the flavor really kind of comes in. cloudy build too for such a little kind of you know unassuming RDA you can seriously get some good clouds out of it airflow on this thing is a bit funky as well it's got a bunch of little tiny holes I don't know if you'll be able to see that I don't know if my autofocus will kick in it's all sorts of confused right now with all the vapor going on yeah you can kind of see it Not bad. Not bad at all. Nick, if this coil works out like the other one, I'll have to share it with the crew. Till then, peace out. Peace out. Let's see. Problem with the Bonza where the cap has become really tight over time? Mm, not on mine. Mine is still good to go. I mean, that could change at any time. I haven't had any issues with the Bonza, to tell you the truth. Really, like, I've used it in squonk mode. I've used it in regular. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's a good little RDA. Um, it's not the best thing under the sun, but, you know, it's really good. It's definitely worth your 30 35 bucks. Have I vaped the recurve? I actually vaped it earlier in the show. Here. One more time for good measure. I, I don't, don't think Mike Vapes is still here, but let's vape the, the good old Recurve RDA one more time. Oh, Z's posted a build challenge in the Discord. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's good, man. The flavor on that one is super good. Yeah, I know, it's getting super foggy in here. I actually have to stop my recording sometimes just to let the room air out a little bit. Usually it's better when, like, the heat or the AC is on and it hasn't kicked on in a while. Don't worry, I'm not leaving yet. <laughs> um, Bonza gets hot. Well, I guess it all depends on coil placement. Um, I usually rock the coils like right up next to the posts on that one. However, Mr. Owen says that you should place them, I believe, right next to the airflow. So, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of going against everything I know about building and or wicking. Yeah, the flavor's kicking on this one right now. And it has those little tabs that lock in your airflow too, so it's directly facing the coils right now. 
that big center block kind of takes up a lot of room in the deck and the screw is really really close to the top cap so it's kind of like I hate to use the word blocking but it's almost blocking a lot of airflow from going through so I don't know how I feel about that I think I don't know it, it, it's a big chunky screw we'll get into that in the full review Oh, flavor. Flavor's really kicking into high gear now. What RDA are you vaping on the TS? This is the Templar RDA. Hey, there you go, autofocus. Now you're trying. <laughs> yeah, the Templar RDA. So far, I'm definitely digging it. What color is my TS? If you don't know what color that is... I mean, it, it's purple. It, what, look at all around you. Purple. Purple, purple, purple. I'm a purple kind of guy. I like my purple mods. Boom. And when my hexomes eventually come out, I'll have a purple one of those as well. <laughs> I swear, you guys, it's coming. I just have to sit down and design it. Ugh. Uh, yes, I am still using Native Wix Cotton. They actually sponsor these uh, these shows, so I do have to give them a big shout out. Native Wix Cotton for all your cottoning needs. Um, it's good stuff. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the greatest cotton under the sun. I mean, it's all subjective, and I really feel like it's not it doesn't make that much of a difference. You know, some people use Japanese, some people use cotton bacon, some people use Native Wix, some people use other stuff. You know. So at the end of the day, it's whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you prefer using. I mean, this is just what they give me. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with it, so. Now you can see that color-changing tip, though, man. This thing is bright blue-green now. Vape on the water. There it is. <laughs> um, I'll be bringing a few bottles over with me um, to the UK I'm gonna try to pack a suitcase full of stuff and bring you guys as much blaz as I could possibly fit in one suitcase I'm a little bit worried you know with the whole like you know customs thing and all that so I'm gonna just try to bring like a, I don't know a couple dozen bottles maybe I don't know as much as I can um, but yeah I think uh, that's gonna basically do it for us. I think that's about all I had to talk about and I've got to go hit up the store real quick for some refreshments for this uh, vape stew show coming up. Uh, let's see. Please put a purple tip on that bitch. Yeah, well this tip normally is purple when it's cold. Um, here, just for you. Uh, where is it? my purple tip. Let's see. Where's my purple dead rabbit tip? It's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, I, I might rock this on there as long as it fits properly. Eh, no, it's loose. This thing is completely just loose. I'm not going to do that. Here, but there. There's a purple tip. But it's so loose that it's not even going to work. So I'm, this, uh, this one's going back on there. Remember to squonk. Remember to squonk. There we go. Uh, yeah, there's James Clay. James Clay, a.k.a. Jimmy Clark, a.k.a. Coil Image. Coil image coils. I actually used your coils in the video, man. You missed a good one. Uh, but make sure you go follow him on Instagram, coil underscore image. Big shout out to him. He gives me a bunch of coils. I've got a whole bunch of his little, little jars over here. Templar RDA. Definitely liking it. It's more of a... I, I, I'd say it's more of a flavor RDA than a cloud RDA, especially with a higher resistance build. 
but uh, I mean, it's kicking clouds right now. It's doing its job, that's for sure. Break out the dull dime here. Just for you. There's the dull dime. Serial number 20. Autofocus is not liking it, but there, there you go. Boom. So yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Once again, we have a fail and a win. I mean, I tried my best. I tried my hand at a Morton Owen build, but not my favorite. I'm going to try it again at some point with my kind of coil. I'm going to try in between shows a couple different builds in it and uh, hopefully we can get it up and running and working how I want it to work. Um, but for now it's kind of going back on the back burner and um, before I do my review I will get this thing to work. That is for sure. It might not even be a full review just because it's a uh, kind of a prototype. I mean it's not not the final version but I'll give my thoughts on it for, for that matter. But Vape Stew, coming up at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is my time. Uh, so make sure you pay attention for that over there on Tenacious Texas Vapes channel, Tenacious TX Vapes. Um, Blaz will soon be available on lucidrda.com as well, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that announcement. We'll see you guys a little bit later on. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, as always, vape on.